What's up, everybody? This <laughs> I don't know what it is. This is Tuesday Talks. This is Troy with Tuesday Talks, Channel 6 News, <laughs> Wedding Peach. I'm doing some crazy thing with my hands like I'm a zombie. But that's not what I meant to be, even though it is Halloween in a couple weeks. What are you going to be for Halloween? Actually, speaking of Halloween, did y'all see The Walking Dead two days ago? <sighs> Look, I told this woman back last season when it was ended, I said, those people in Terminus are eating people. And she tried to argue my ass up and down about it. Say, they ain't eating people. They just probably just killing them and, and stealing their stuff. Like, no, they're eating them people. How do I know? Because when the main characters were going in Terminus, did you ever notice that there were no people in there? No actual people, no families? That's because they were eating them. They were collecting humans and eating them like cows. So that they wouldn't have to go out in the woods and hunt. That's only part of the equation. And I'm getting off tangent, which is my problem with my last Tuesday Talks video. And that's why it's in the Disney vault. But back on subject, this is the Tuesday Talks video. Tuesday Talks was created by Janie and Janelle. Um, and I'm going to put all that information in the links down below. The topic for this week is... I need to do my homework. <laughs> anyway, today's topic is... Want to read a long series? Where do you start? I don't really know. <laughs> I can only speak for myself. I absolutely love series. Um, I love series because I do get attached to characters. I do get attached to their stories. And, you know, with standalones, I know I will enjoy a standalone. I don't really reach so much for standalones because if I get attached to the characters, all I have available to me concerning them is these like 350 pages that encapsulates their story and sometimes I really want more from these characters but but you know what I know for myself is like when I'm reading something like contempt literature or contemporary fiction or something like that a standalone does not bother me but when it comes to like a mystery series or a sci-fi series of some sort I prefer it I prefer it to be a series because you know there's so much that you can develop off of that it, I can't understand how some people prefer standalones as opposed to a series because sometimes you don't want to jump in the middle of a series especially a series that's over like 10 or 50 books long and deep so with that being said I absolutely have no problem with reading a series that's 10 or 50 books deep as long as I start from the very beginning now the thing about it is some people get discouraged by not only the size of the series but how dated the series was when it first started um, that never had that never has bothered me. I mean, it, it's I just love it in in general. If I'm attached to it, I am going to go on Amazon Marketplace and try to find the first book in that series and go from there. Really, it's kind of paralyzing for me to try to read a book that's in the middle of a series. Um, there are some books that I have in my collection in which it's like I only have like there's four books in the series and I only have the third book and it's like. I've had this book for years and I feel like I, I, I just can't get into it unless I start from the very beginning because I want to understand and see the development and the growth of the character. One example is that is the Blanche series by Barbara Neely. It is a mystery series that revolves around this black woman who's a a housekeeper and a cook you know she cleaned white folks houses and she solves domesticated counter crimes and you know murder mysteries and it's only four books in that series but this is the third book and I've had this book for so long and my heart is aching to read this series but I have yet to go on Amazon and fulfill my order in ordering books one and two before I move on to three and then four I don't know what my problem is. And another example that's very close to Barbara Neely is Nora Deloach. I hope I said her name right. Her mystery series, which revolves around an older black lady who solves, it's kind of the same thing, domesticating uh, murder mysteries, but it's kind of more so not in the house of people with halves. And says she solved mysteries pertaining to people who are have-nots, if you got my flow there. Besides all of that, the point that I'm trying to make is that there, there are eight books in this series and I, this is the fourth book, and I have the sixth book and the seventh book, but for two years I have been stalled out from reading the series because I don't have the fifth book. And my thing is that, like with Barbara Neely's series, the, the books that you need and proceed with, they are so accessible. They are like one penny on Amazon Marketplace and my ass still never buys them. I don't know why. 
it, it just gets on my nerves when I do that. And I think part of that problem is that maybe I don't want a series to end um, because then you'll have to go find something else that really kind of live, you know, that kind of invigorates your spirit pertaining to what you just finished reading. And that's hard sometimes because not all series are made alike, and we know that. But speaking of series, I also have a hard time abandoning ongoing series or series in general. It's like once I get started, I have to keep going. Um, there's no way, like with those two books, there's no way I'm going to get rid of those books without having read the entire series. So at, one, at some point, I'm going to keep going. But another example of a series that I know that I should be done with, I know without a shadow of a doubt that I need to throw them damn books away in a trash can, even though that's against who I am, is... Laura K. Hamilton's Anita Blake series. So, Janie, you mentioned this in your video, and you are absolutely right. I wish that I could stop this series, but I can't. So, with that being said, if you are looking into reading a series that is kind of long and intimidating, um, just start with, it, with, with whatever book you can. Unless you are somebody like me who needs to start from the very first book, no matter how dated it is. And um, with that being said, I think that I answered this question just nicely. So anyway, go ahead and comment below. Do you prefer reading long series or do you prefer standalones? Or do you struggle with starting series from the very beginning? Or do you just like to be dropped in the middle and just go from there? With that being said, I have to go. I don't know if I hit on all these points, but the point is that there is no point. This is Tuesday Talks, signing out.